When an international team of scientists in 2002 decided to get rid of accumulated trash by simply tossing a 66-pound bag into the crater of one of Ethiopia's most dangerous volcanoes, they never expected such an outcome. A powerful explosion shook the entire crater, molten lava sprayed up to the height of a five-story building, and the roar was so loud it could be heard from over half a mile away. Scientists panicked and ran from the edge, barely escaping the deadly drops of molten rock. What they witnessed at that moment shocked even the most experienced volcanologists. This happened at the crater of Erta Ali Volcano, which locals call the gateway to hell. And for good reason, this place is so inhospitable that air temperatures reach 122 degrees Fahrenheit, while in the crater itself, a lake of molten lava churns at temperatures exceeding 1,830 degrees Fahrenheit. Erta Ale is one of the few volcanoes on the planet with a permanent lava lake, making it a unique research subject. The international expedition included experienced volcanologists from France, Italy, and the United States. The team included specialists from France's National Research Center, including leading French volcanologists. Their mission was to install measuring instruments, collect lava samples, and study the behavior of one of the planet's most active lava lakes. After several days of exhausting work in the extreme conditions of the remote Afar Desert, the expedition had accumulated a standard set of household waste, plastic bottles, metal cans, food scraps, rags, typical camp life trash. In conditions where the nearest settlement was hundreds of miles away and transportation was extremely difficult, waste removal presented a serious logistical problem. When one of the scientists suggested the seemingly obvious solution, simply dump the bag into the lava, it seemed logical. After all, lava destroys everything in its path, right? The 66-pound bag was slowly lowered to the edge of the lava lake. What happened next, no one could have predicted. When the cool trash made contact with the molten lava, a chain reaction began. Water from organic waste instantly turned to steam. Plastic began decomposing, releasing toxic gases, hydrogen chloride, carbon monoxide, and other poisonous compounds. All this created an enormous volume of steam and gases under the dense lava crust. Pressure rose sharply, and when it reached a critical point, the gas burst outward like from an overheated boiler. The shock wave knocked the scientists off their feet. They barely managed to roll away from the crater's edge, escaping the deadly spray of molten rock. The experiment was immediately stopped, but a logical question arose. What if we tried using volcanoes for waste disposal on an industrial scale? The waste problem is indeed extremely serious. Each year, humanity produces 2 billion tons of trash according to early 2020s data, equivalent to 400 million elephants. Americans alone throw away 254 million tons of waste annually. Landfills are overflowing, ocean pollution levels are critical, and the situation worsens year by year. People have proposed various solutions. Send trash to space, too expensive, thousands of dollars per pound. Dump it in ocean trenches, already tried until the 70s. Result, radioactive contamination of huge sections of seafloor that will remain dead zones for hundreds more years. At first glance, volcanoes seem like ideal natural incinerators. Lava temperatures reach 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit, much hotter than any industrial furnace. Volcanoes work around the clock, require no fuel, and theoretically could digest any waste. However, reality proves more complex. The first problem, there are catastrophically few of them. On the entire planet, only about 1,500 potentially active volcanoes exist, and most are in completely inaccessible places, in the middle of oceans, mountains, deserts, far from human habitation. The second problem, not all volcanoes are suitable. Disposal requires shield volcanoes with permanent lava lakes. These are slowly erupting volcanoes that don't explode catastrophically. There are only a handful of these on the planet. Most are stratovolcanoes known for explosive eruptions. Approaching them with garbage trucks would be suicide. The third problem, logistics. You'd need to transport millions of tons of trash to craters located in hard-to-reach places. Thousands of trucks, convoys, helicopters, the carbon footprint from such transportation would exceed emissions from normal waste incineration. The fourth problem, safety. Sudden activity changes could catch workers off guard. 
The fifth, lava itself isn't all powerful. Metals with high melting points would remain as impurities. Many chemical compounds would turn into poisonous gases. Burning plastic releases dioxins, among the most toxic substances on the planet. And most importantly, if a 66-pound bag caused such a powerful explosion, imagine the consequences from tons of trash. In Hawaii, Iceland, and Kamchatka, tourists constantly throw objects into lava for dramatic shots. Each impact causes instant vaporization and small explosions, scattering molten spray for dozens of yards. Fortunately, modern civilization has sensible solutions. New generation waste-to-energy plants are high-tech complexes with multi-stage air filtration systems. They operate at 1,562 degrees Fahrenheit, completely destroying organic waste while simultaneously generating heat and electricity for urban needs. In Sweden, such plants provide heat and electricity to entire districts of major cities, with emissions so clean they meet the European Union's strictest environmental standards. In Germany, 66% of all household waste is processed this way. In South Korea, 59%. Modern biotechnology promises a real revolution in fighting trash. Scientists have already created special bacteria capable of eating various types of plastic and converting them into completely harmless organic compounds. A Japanese company successfully isolated a unique bacterium that can completely decompose PET plastic in just a few weeks, leaving no toxic residue. Meanwhile, innovative biodegradable materials made from seaweed, potato starch, and even mushroom mycelium are actively developing, completely disappearing in natural environments. Plasma gasification is considered a particularly promising technology. Decomposing trash in plasma at temperatures exceeding 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit. This produces synthesis gas for fuel with virtually no toxic emissions. The technology is still expensive but actively developing in Japan and Europe. All these modern methods already work successfully in reality and have convincingly proven their high efficiency and environmental safety. They're economically justified, technologically reliable, and don't require turning majestic volcanoes into industrial garbage facilities, which could disrupt the delicate balance of natural ecosystems. The Ethiopian experiment clearly showed even 66 pounds of trash can turn a volcano into a ticking time bomb. Humanity has already found safe and effective ways to fight waste without forcing nature to do our dirty work.